And Atlantis and Lemuria, just touch for a minute, um, I go back 10 million years to when the ETs, our uncles and aunts, were first asked by the creator of this universe to create a being that could handle all this negativity of what is called the Earth experiment. And so 10 million years ago, um, uh, he, uh, the creator sent these emissaries out to all these different worlds uh, asking them to assist. And Antura told me, uh, Antura or Gaia maybe, uh, told me that, well, when an emissary comes and asks you, you know, to assist, you can say no, but no one ever does. Okay. So it's like, <laughs> so guys talking, yes. we, we do it. So, so. Well, one of the things that I've been told, and this has been something that that the news has been very general about, and that's the rising ocean levels. And people keep saying, oh, with the rising ocean levels, you know, but they don't say, well, it rose so much last year. And I've been told that one of the reasons is that one, the scientists are checking and rechecking the figures, you know, and also there's kind of pressure from above. Well, don't scare anybody. Make sure this is correct, you know, that we don't want to scare anybody about these rising ocean levels because a lot of people higher up don't want to hear that the oceans are rising, you know, except for in 100 years or whatever. They'll scare everybody and and land around on the coast will go down the tubes and so on. But I've been, been told that in 2015, uh, Gaia said, uh, and Gaia is one of one of the uh, beings along with my guardian angel Theo. Um, Gaia said that that the oceans rose two inches. Okay, and this year, by the end of the year, the oceans will have risen eight inches. Okay, and next year the oceans will rise 12.5 inches. Okay, so we're talking about almost two feet in a three year period. Is that just on the east coast? Is that just, no, 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 that's all around the world, not just on the east coast. rise on the east and go down on the west. No, 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 no. That's the whole, the whole ocean. Uh, from melting ice. From Greenland, and the Arctic, and, and even Antarctica, even though um, Antarctica has a heavy ice sheet right now, there it's going to melt. And, and Gaia said that she was kind of holding off Antarctica because if she had had Antarctica melting at the same rate as everything else, we'd already be up, you know, two feet in one year. And it couldn't have that. So, um, so that's. That's coming, and she says, I'm telling everybody, and I'm warning you, that you need to move away from the coast because the low-lying areas, such as, look at North Carolina. Look what happened in North Carolina this last time with, with the, the uh, hurricane that came through there. They not only had flooding right on the coast, but then they had all these rivers upstream that flooded and really flooded down below. And she said, that's going to continue. That is not going to stop. So you either move away to higher ground um, or uh, you're going to lose the value of your property. So that's, yes? About how long did you project this to take? Oh, by the end of next year, 22 and a half inches. Okay, from 2015 to end of 2017. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Luckily, we're not going to be uh, uh, like uh, uh, Gordon Michael Scallions about <laughs> Dallas and Fort Worth being a, an ocean port. You know, that's not going to happen. Yes, sir. Fred? Hasn't uh, the Earth uh, experienced this many centuries ago before? Yes. I mean, this isn't anything new. No, but, uh, um, you know, and to go back on my. Atlantis and Lemuria book, there were three major times, uh, as I put out in the book, three major times that the oceans of the world rose dramatically. Uh, the first time at 
Atlantis, which was actually located um, uh, in, uh, in the Atlantic Ocean, okay? It was about 10% larger than, um, uh, than uh, uh, Australia is today, okay? And so the first time that there was a major disaster, this was a natural disaster. There was a line of volcanoes bisecting the whole continent because the continent sat right on top of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And right on top of that Mid-Atlantic Ridge was this line of volcanoes. And they all blew up together. And most of the continent of Atlantis sank at one time, leaving, uh, leaving only a few islands left. And the oceans of the world rose 160 feet. That was 31,000 approximate years ago. So it rose 30, uh, 160 feet, wiping out every single city, town, village, along every coast, all over the world. Millions of people died, okay? That was a natural disaster. Um, so, how many years ago was that? That was 30, 160 feet, how many years ago was it? 31,000 years, okay. And, and so, that left, the island of Posadia, which was the size of Cuba, but round in shape, if you were to draw a line straight out from, from Boston, uh, a little north of Boston, straight out to the west of, of the middle of the Atlantic, that's where Posadia sat. And then there was Aaron, and Aaron, there were an extra five islands, one of which is very small. Um, I think Edgar Casey said there were only four, but I was told by Gaia, she said, no, there was one tiny island, but it wasn't inhabited. Okay, so she counted as five. Okay, so, and Aaron and those five islands were inhabited by the people called, that called themselves the Sons of Belial. And Posadia uh, had the law of one people. Okay, and so, so they, um, this, uh, because this happened 31,000 years ago, we go through a few thousand years. Finally, in the last thousand years of their existence, which was about 13,500 years ago, down to 12,500 years ago, they started really getting into war. Okay? And keep in mind, they were very advanced societies. All these societies existed for 50,000 years, more than 50,000 years. They were very advanced. Some had more advanced than we were, than we are now. And we're, we finally caught up and advanced past them with some other things. But they had this free crystal power, okay? And so finally, um, 12,500 years ago, um, the, the Aaron said, well, we've had enough of these people. And so they did like a Pearl Harbor attack. And over 300 of these saucer-shaped uh, craft that they had uh, flew up to Poseidon. And they had these lasers, giant lasers on board, and they proceeded to melt the ground and all the people on it. A million and a half people died the first day of the conflict. A million and a half people. And they thought they knew where all the airfields were, but they didn't. And the Poseidians counterattacked. And this went on until those islands sank into the ocean. The oceans rose over a week or two period, 41 feet. Now this is where the, the true story of Noah comes into effect. It was, didn't happen two or 3,000 years ago, or 4,000 or whatever. It happened 12,500 years ago. Noah actually built a ship, uh, an ark. He didn't put in wild animals. That was added later for an embellishment because these, these, poor, you know, these people through the thousands of years were saying, well, supposedly the water covered the whole earth, you know, but it actually only rose 41 feet. And so it lifted his ark and it deposited on the lower slopes of Mount Ariad. Okay? And the other little thing is that, of course, if you read, uh, he had a son that wasn't married, and he married, he married a girl. Where did she come from? She came from a family that was not affected by the flood. Okay? So that was 41 feet. That naturally, again, destroyed every single town, village, and city all around the world. Okay. The final uh, major, major uh, increase in the water 
uh, in the ocean levels came 7,500 years ago. That was the continent of Lemuria. Okay? And Lemuria uh, was about 12% larger than, than, um, uh, than Australia is today. And so uh, they were very peaceful, almost idyllic for thousands of years. But finally, in their last thousand years, they started warring. And finally, uh, they blew themselves up using hydrogen type weapons of an energy that we have not yet rediscovered. Okay, there's an energy out there. And they used hydrogen type bombs on themselves and blew that continent up and it rose, uh, the oceans rose another 160, 70 feet. Again, wiping out everything 12,500, I mean 7,500 years ago. And, and that's, that's why we have so little information about uh, about these these comments and everything because anywhere that there were libraries or whatever on the ocean that had any records of this, they all went down to the bottom of the sea. And that's why, like Plato, uh, when he talked about Atlantis, they got, got it from his, his grandfather, I think it was, went to Egypt and brought back these scrolls talking about uh, Atlantis. And those scrolls supposedly are still in existence somewhere in some basement. Yes? But the people from Lemuria or something like that, yeah. why would they destroy themselves if they were so nice and peaceful? And stuff? Well, they were nice and peaceful up until the last thousand years. Lemuria was a continent, uh, and why did they destroy themselves? That uh, was the question that they were so peaceful. Um, there were five countries on the continent. They were all divided, if you can imagine like Europe, how Europe is divided, the Rhine River, the, the Alps, uh, the Pyrenees, whatever, you know, natural divisions in a continent uh, divided these five countries. And they all had, um, they, they all had um, uh, different beliefs. You know, some of them were, were easy going, let's say like the French, whatever. Uh, and, and others would, would be like maybe Saudi Arabia or something like that. Okay, so there was a, a great variance in, in beliefs. And, and believe it or not now, Lemuria actually extended over to within 100 miles of Hawaii. And so all the Lemurians used to vacation on Hawaii. That's why Hawaii has all this Lemurian or uh, 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 energy in it because for thousands of years they vacationed there. And finally when they really got so tired of each other uh, each country would have its own beach. Okay. And so they uh, uh, you know they were able to keep to themselves and of course the ocean, Hawaii was larger than it is now because the ocean was 160 or 70 feet lower than, than it is today. So that's that's the story of ocean rises. And, yes? So should we stay away from Hawaii because it could be flooded? Or should we go there because it has little buried in it? <laughs> well, it's, it's only going to be two feet. As long as, you, as long as you want a vacation and stay at a, at a high rise or something a little farther <laughs> off the beach, you know, I mean, they're going to, if you notice, they're starting to have some hurricanes. They, they haven't had hurricanes in ages. And uh, uh, so go at a time when they don't when they're not having storms. And back to the island. So like the Bahamas, that Bimini Road, I mean, that existed 31,000 years ago, but the waters rose and two, you know, three times since then. So, and they couldn't, they really didn't have the ability to go down there all the time. You know, they didn't have any posers in between Poseidia or Aaron and the Bahamas that were left over. So, they, they mostly stuck in that area and, and, and had all their conflicts in that 375 mile area, 75 mile area. Well, keep in mind, yeah, uh, uh, the Canary Islands, the Azores, um, uh, Bahamas were some of the remnants, but because they had, uh, uh, when you get into the book, there was a limit on this crystal power. It was like broadcasting a radio signal and the curvature of the earth, um, it would lose its signal. 
so they had to have what were called posers, they called them, uh, that were like relay stations to, to keep all these aircraft in the air or the trains or all of the, the cars and whatever uh, uh, going along. And um, so that's how it all started. And they went through all these different body types, including the Lucys and the, and the Littlefoots and, and then the Neanderthals who uh, the scientists hadn't figured out yet, but they were cannibalistic. And there, was, there were more than four million of them because they, you know, if somebody get a little old, they'd just hit them in the head and have them for dinner. <laughs> And, uh, and, and, then the, and they were, they had 70% of the intelligence that we had, so they were very clever, you know. But the cro magnets uh, had 100% of the intelligence we had. And the cro magnets were very smart, but they, they tweaked the body one more time. And finally, 60,000 years ago was when, was when uh, they created the Adam and Eve bodies. And they, the ETs had the ability to create one of these bodies in two and a half minutes. Pop, pop, pop. And they seeded each continent in the world, I was told. So that's, it gets into details about all, uh, about all the, the lives of the people on Atlantis and Lemuria, you know, how they lived, worked, and, and transportation and all this other stuff. It's, it's more information than you've ever seen in any other book. Thank you.